91,000 and I have Shea Bear who thinks he's monkey tonight for some reason. Don't know. Watch his videos. You'll see what I'm talking about. Anyways. Not if I don't show it. <laughs> you will. Uh, Snickers, that's my mat. Go <laughs> scratch mommy's mat. <laughs> mess with my mat. So. Oh my goodness. Oh, here. So. <laughs> okay. So we have a solar bug zapper and lantern that he got on Amazon. Amazon yeah. Yes. And he decided we were going to try this out since the other one didn't work so well. So hopefully this is going to work pretty good. So, yeah, hopefully. We got, I'm going to show you the side of the boxes there. You can see it. So, we're going to do a review together on this. So, we'll be right back. Okie dokie. Okay, guys, so this is what we got. I ordered it last week, was it? Mm-hmm. Anyway, it came right on time. So, can you guys see that? I can bring you up. That's enough. All right, I can go like this. Yeah, that's better. Okay. Mm-hmm. It is the solar bug zapper and lantern. Um, it's supposed to kill uh, mosquitoes, flies, moths, bees, and wasps. I don't know why I said that with a lisp, but I did. Functions and features. This is the uh, the new model, BK-16. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, it's got lighting, 100 lumen lighting at four to five hours. Uh, mosquito killer and SOS, but uh, 100 lumen. That's um, it's time for bed. <laughs> so. That's. It's time for bed, everyone. Because uh, Alexa says so. Anyway, that's high. That's on high. That's that's the light you'll see here in a minute. That's the the night light. Um, and on low, it's got 60 lumens at six to seven hours. Um, it's also got an SOS mode on it, and you can turn that on. It's a hundred lumens at eight to nine hours, and you can have the mosquito killer, which is the little purple light in there uh, that attracts, supposed to attract mosquitoes and stuff, um, it'll last eight to nine hours, so wow. pretty much all night. This is going to be nice for so, camping, hopefully. Yeah, and so I did charge it up some. I had, uh, I took it out of the box to charge it up and kind of do my homework on it, and as soon as I opened up the door, the sun came in and this thing started charging. Yeah. So, what we like about it is when we're camping, this is the unit, when we're camping, um, we'll be able to just set this out somewhere on mm -hmm. the truck or whatever, wherever, mm -hmm. and it'll charge all day long. We're good to go into the night. Yeah. Okay, so you also got your little brush here. Just like uh, one of those little brushes for your razors and stuff. Mm -hmm. And you got your little charging cord. This is a USB-C style. Like my phone's got. Mm -hmm. It does have a uh, a little instruction booklet. Um, it's in multiple different languages, which is nice. So this did come from Japan, so it's nice that it does have multiple languages for people to read. Um, I did read up on it, and I'll tell you about it here in just a second. So it is rechargeable again. So let's go ahead and pull this the unit out itself. There's your two switches, and on the back is your USB port. Like I said, it started charging as soon as I took it outside. Now I have my phone charger cord here, which is a C USB C. Uh, this is also, guys, waterproof. So it's kind of hard to get. Me help? Get this open because I don't have nails. Just like that, it just pops open. Uh, but you know, don't put it in flood waters or anything like that. And we'll plug it in, and once once you plug it in, 
there's a red light right beside the plug. Yeah, you can see that. Um, that means it's charging. When it turns blue, it's fully charged. It also has a flip up handle. That's nice. Yes, it is nice. So, mm -hmm. Yes. You can hang it different ways. So that's to use as a lantern. Now, let's uh let's turn the light on. Here's the light switch here. Okay, so that should be high. There's low. There's high SOS and off. And then the bug zapper part. There. Can you see that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you, they'll see it outside. But, mm -hmm. uh, that's a bug zap, zapper part. I can't get my finger in there or we try it out. But we're going to take it outside and try it out. Mm -hmm. Now, also, what I wanted to see is, and you can use the bug light and this light at the same time mm -hmm. if you want, or vice versa. Uh, that's bright. Yes, and you can plug it in, like I said, and charge it or solar power it all day long. Now, what I'm going to do here, now, <coughs> I figure if you got your purple light, your bug zapper part working, and this light up here, it's probably not going to last as long. So, get you one of these power banks, and I will plug it into my power bank. You should see it. It comes on as soon as you plug something in. Okay, there's the blue lights. Mm -hmm. Anyway, there's blue lights on there. And the red light is on. So, and what I like about that is I can turn it on while I have it on this. So this you know, get you a little power bank. This, by the way, is done an excellent job. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm, I like that. Yeah. Just call it a go warmer. This thing, we've used it a lot. And I used it a couple times when it was chilly to keep my hands warm. Worked yeah. well. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, that's awesome. You know, your battery start running dead. Plug it into a power bank. Or if you want to run both, both lights or whatever, plug it into a power bank. But it's, it's cool because then you just leave it out. Yeah. Next day, sun comes up, you don't have to worry about anything. Go on and plug it in. As soon as it gets daylight, this thing's going to start charging for you. Okay. So let's go ahead and shut this off. And this off. Now we're going to go outside. We was outside a few minutes ago. The bugs aren't as heavy as they were at the river the other day. But those traps that we had bought... Um, they didn't catch one mosquito. So I'm thinking no. if this thing's even zapping some of them, at least it's keeping some mosquitoes away oh, from us. Yes. And I got some tips for you on if you don't want to use spray, because a lot of people don't like chemicals or garbage. It's, it's like natural. You get all natural, but they don't like that feeling on them and stuff. I'm going to give you a couple tips on if you don't want to do that, how you can also keep the mosquitoes away with this. Now, these things are just like any bug zapper. It's not going to take them all away, no. but it'll take the majority away from you. Mm -hmm. So, what do you say? What the hell is that? Did you hear that? Yeah. You guys hear that? I think it's Snickers. Oh. Mm -hmm. No, she's right there. Okay, so. Can, um, do you remember how much you paid for it? Yes, I already told them. So anyway, or I told my group, I don't know about yours, so you got to figure it out. Just type in it on Amazon. Look for it. No, actually, it was thirty-seven dollars plus shipping. Oh. Okay. So I think shipping was almost ten bucks. But uh, so thirty-seven dollars. Yeah, and that other stuff we bought at Walmart was thirty bucks, and it didn't catch not one mosquito in either of them. And we would have had to buy refills and if you it buy did refills work. after ninety days. And yeah. that was nine something. This is no refill. So you just zap it. Just keep charging it up. And like I said, if you're outside, you know, if you're not going to be out by the fire all night long, or, or which is another good way for mosquitoes, but, or if you're not going to be fishing all night long, or whatever, I mean, like I said, this thing will charge all day long in the sun. Yeah. You know, and it'll be ready to go when you're, when you're ready for it. Very cool. 
And if it does happen to run down sooner than you think, just get you a cheap little right, little power bank, you know, and, and run it on that. So what do you say we take it outside and see if we can catch any, any mosquitoes? Okie dokie. So it's good that it catch, catches bees too, though bees aren't out a lot at night. But she's a highly allergic to bees, so if uh, so that that's good to know. Yeah. All right, guys, let's go outside then. Okay. Okay. Okay, guys, so we're outside. <clears throat> she sent her phone down. So we're outside. We've got our light here. What we're going to do, there's not a whole lot of mosquitoes out, but there are some out. Um, so I know if it catches any, it would really have worked last weekend. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this on. Another thing, guys, I know I mentioned it before, but I'm going to say it again. Whether it's this light or a regular big old bug zapper, a lot of people think, put it right beside me. That's a great idea. No, it's not. You know why? Because that light is meant to attract them to that so they can get zapped and killed. So why would you want it right there? Put it back. A lot of a lot of these things, when you buy them new, they'll give you a range of what it'll attract. And you just want to stay on the out, just on the inside of the outer range. You know what I mean? Yeah. Don't sit right next to this thing. So what I, I've got my jack sitting over there with the jack handle on it. So first, I'm going to try it. Whoops. We're just going to turn this on. What I'm going to do, it's actually That's purple, but it looks blue in the cameras. Yeah. Here, but, uh, cool. What I'm going to do is turn that, turn the porch light out so we can see if this thing will attract the, the mosquitoes over to where we need it to be. Also, if you get a, mos get a mosquito in your tent, which has happened to us, yes, I hate that. Trying to take get this, in and out. Yeah, take this and put it in your tent. Yeah. And if you hear a mosquito turn this thing on, it'll it'll zap it. Yeah. So I'm gonna walk this over here. Okie dokie. It's pretty, isn't it? I may need to go get a piece of wire or something. Hmm. Um Piece of wire over here. I don't know. Um, Got some? Try this clip, maybe. Okay. Oh, that works. I'll That'll work. You want me to turn the light off? Now, yeah, monkey's going to turn the light off. Now, you're probably going to go dark. I have night vision. Yeah. But that's okay. So what we're going to do, go ahead and shut the light off, monkey. Okay, now you guys can see that in the background. I know you, you guys can't see me, but in the background, there's, there's our light. I don't know what monkey's going to do, but I'm going to take you over and show it to you. I guess I'll be using your clip. And I don't have anything. Well, I'm not on my thing. So there it is. And there's my hand. Now we're going to wait and see if it catches any mosquitoes. We may have to resort to going down to the lake. That's fine. Or down to the river. I to the river. I felt one on me, so hopefully this. And also, if this doesn't attract them enough, I'll turn this big light on too. And that'll definitely attract them, you know? Mm -hmm. So there's what we're looking at. Now, I'll be back with you guys in a second. There it is. That's cool. So are we just going to wait a few minutes and then we're coming back? Yeah, I'm going to stand out here for a few minutes. And we'll see if anything gets zapped. Yeah, and if it starts zapping, we'll... Be back. Well, we'll be back anyways. Stay tuned. Okay, guys, so what we did, we moved it, the bug zapper over here on the truck because it's closer to the trees. And we have already caught probably, or zapped probably, what, 12? Maybe, yeah. Mm -hmm. 10 at least. 
Uh, well, we've only been out here about 15 minutes, so, and every once in a while, I'll let this roll for a minute, but every once in a while, if you look in there, you'll see like a bright orange color that's zapping the little gnats and stuff. Yep. So, yeah. So far, it seems to be working pretty good. That's, you know, at least 10 more bugs we don't have to worry about. Right. So every little bit helps. Yeah. So let's let it roll for a minute. Never fails. Ooh. Well, remember, you got a light on there. It's going to that. I know. Put that face down somewhere. It's on my belly. I can see them in there. Can you? Yeah. Yeah, there's like one, two, ooh, one. There's one. Yep. There's another one. Yep, see it? Mm-hmm. Zapping. Yep. Ooh, I hear it. Cool beans. got one. Yeah, he's in there. He hasn't been zapped yet, though. Oh, there he goes. Something got zapped. I've seen a yeah. bright orange. So, so far, it is working. Mm-hmm. Yep, it's doing its thing. Let's turn the big light on for a second. I want to see. It's 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 bringing bugs around the truck here. Yeah. Yeah. So. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. See. Mhm. Mm There's a bug here. Yeah. There's a bug here. Yeah. Yeah, it's bringing them. There's one here. I'm trying to get him to go up in there. That's neat. Yeah. I think that's going to help a lot. A lot better than the other ones we had. Yeah, because it didn't catch a damn one. Not no. one. Mm -mm. Nothing. Nothing. But some of them, the bigger ones, you can actually hear them zapping, zapping. Mm-hmm. Cool. Yeah, very. Oh, there's one in there. Oh, he came out. The, like a moth. Yeah. But even if it draws him, just draws him away from us. Mm -hmm. Now, when we have the uh, the lantern turned on. Yeah. And that thing over by the lantern, it'll be zapping the hell out of him. You know. Yeah. That'll help when you're trying to get the fish off the hook and and stuff like that. Just you won't have them around you. So so far, I'm pretty impressed with it. Mm-hmm. So I'm gonna set this off, and I'm gonna go in the house for a couple minutes. And we'll come out. And we'll see how many? Yeah, and we'll see how many it caught. All right. We'll be back. Okay, so, guys. We've got... I'm going to try to show you in this one. Then I'll take it over to monkeys. Uh, maybe if I turn that. This was out for ten minutes. There we go. See all them bugs in there? Mm-hmm. Oh, there's tiny little things, too, like little baby ones. Yeah, gnats, yeah. little mm -hmm. baby mosquitoes, little baby 
fly thingies. And moths. Moths. Um, there's really too many to count. I'll go show you yours here in a minute. Mm -hmm. um, but just on there, the little, uh, the little moths. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. There's 18 just moths in here. That's not counting the, the little tiny bugs that are sitting down at the bottom. I'll go sit and show your camera. Okay. <clears throat> well, it does more than the other one does, that's for sure. Can you see it? Yep, I can see it. See the bugs in there? Mm-hmm. Spin it around here, look it down. Yeah. Yeah, you can see them in there. Yeah, so this thing is amazing. Yeah. Um pretty cool. Yeah. Now I told you I'd mention some other ways. Of course you got the bug spray. A lot of people don't like bug spray. On them, which is understandable. A lot of people don't like it. There's other other things you can do. Um, you can burn uh, what is it? Lavender. Mm -hmm. You can burn sage, and you can burn. I had it up on my phone. Let me grab my phone. And I think it's time. So, because I I know what I use it. it really works well, and I'll get to that in a minute. Couple of different things, but you can burn, yeah, you can burn uh, lavender, sage, and rosemary. Rosemary. Uh, not only does sage keep away the bugs, it keeps away the spirits. Yeah, <laughs> two for one. <coughs> but joking aside, I know a lot of people don't have that stuff around, right? I, I get you. So, what you can do. Uh, there are pine trees everywhere, pretty much everywhere, you know what I mean. Get you some fresh pine limbs. Don't take them all off of one tree, but cut you off a couple fresh pine limbs. Okay, so where was I? The pine. Just throw you a couple little pine branches on there every so often because the bugs do not like uh, that sap. Right. If you burn any kind of pine stuff, you'll see that black smoke. That's that sap. Also, what we've used, and it works really well, is dryer sheets. Yeah. Put a dryer sheet in your hat, in a pocket, up on your sleeve somewhere, you know, in your sleeve. That works really well. And, um, you know, of course, this thing is going to help out a lot. Yeah. You know, out there be, being out there 10 minutes and... Oh, yeah. I, I mean, this thing was happening and stuff. Um, so, now what was it I was going to tell them about what I used? Pine? Yeah, pine. Mm -hmm. um, works really well. So, all those things are all natural. Um, you know, you can buy sage, you can buy rosemary, and you can take it with you. It doesn't, you don't have to, like, put a big log of sage on there. Just throw some on your fire every so often it doesn't kill them it does um, it will repel them and kind of help keep away and also anytime you have a fire that helps too but if you, if you don't really have any of those things any green leaves throw on there the smoke will get rid of the the uh, the mosquitoes well it'll keep them at bay it, you know it keeps them away it does help out a lot so those are some other ideas of natural ways you can keep away, help repel mosquitoes, you know. I mean, you're not going to keep them away 100%, but... Right. Uh, and those things, yeah, and those yeah, things, like, if you, if you don't have a fire, try to keep your lights out. Like, if you're fishing, you really don't have anything, it's best to keep your lights out. Yeah. Don't keep turning your light on, because boom. Yeah, or your cameras from your phone, or your phone, too. Your phone light, yeah, that's why I told her earlier... Yeah. You know, she's standing there with her phone like this. Well, when it's really dark, that's pretty bright. Yeah. And she's like, 
I'm like, yeah, you got to, you know, so, uh, so if you really, you, you want to go fish, you really don't have any of that stuff. Like I said, just uh, try to keep your lights out, you know, because after a while, you, your eyes will get adjusted right. to the darkness, and you know you have, um, you know you have moonlight a lot of times, and right, monk. Yeah. And uh, so yeah, I mean all all that that stuff works really well. Um, if you're a smoker, I know you shouldn't smoke. I got haters out there, but I really don't care. You know, there's a lot of things they shouldn't do too, but. If you're a smoker, that helps light a cigarette. Yeah. If you're not a smoker, somebody's with you that smokes. Have them light a cigarette, put it down beside you. Yeah. And it does help, doesn't it? Mm hmm So. Yep. Every like, little bit. Like I could tell when, like last weekend, we were uh, when we were fishing, and whenever I lighted up a cigarette, she wasn't. It wasn't bothering her as much, and it wasn't bothering me as much. Mm hmm. So you know, those are those are just uh, just a few natural things you can do to 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 help you know alleviate the mosquitoes. Uh, there wasn't a lot out there tonight, so if we would have had this last weekend, this thing would have been zapping and piping and popping and banging. So oh, yeah. and so <coughs> about, next time we go down to the lake, at the lake, we'll have to test it. The river. Yeah, so we'll let you know on updates about this thing. So far, I'm giving it a two thumbs up. Yeah. Definitely. And a five out of five. And what I like about it is this thing. You know, you're going camping for three or four days. After about third day, you know, your stuff's running down. You're, you know, you've done the, you know. All the charging You know, stuff your charging going. stuff's going dead and you're wanting to save it, especially if you're a YouTuber. Mm -hmm. Wanting to save that to charge your batteries for cameras and whatnot. Like I said... Let this thing just sit in the sun all day long, yep. and it's ready to go, and it'll be charged, and you know you can get several hours out of it. So, I think it's amazing. So so far, it's getting five out of five stars for me. You know, so I I like it. Yeah, I'd say five out of five too. Yeah. And also, you can always use this as a backup light if your yeah, you flashlight can. goes out. Well, you can just you know hang this up behind you. Yeah. Not only is it going to be catching bugs, but you know, with this thing up at a certain height, it's a lantern. It'll help yeah. light up, you mm -hmm. know, and the bugs are going to be attracted to this. Yeah. So, you know, you're getting the best of both worlds. Like I said, it's got solar, so all day long it's going to charge. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I think it's a great, it's a yeah. great idea. I and, like it. And it's so small. Far. I mean, it's not heavy. I know for backpackers, backpackers are going to say, wow, well, you know, I'm not going to put that in. Well, probably not. You know, but I think I would take this more than I, you know, take a big thing. Of, some guys have a big, you know, big pack of their all their fire starting stuff that's about this size. Right. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to throw, I don't have it on me, but I'm going to throw a lighter in my pocket. Mm -hmm. There's my fire. <laughs> and I'm going to bring this thing. But uh, we don't backpack, we don't hike because, you know, I can't do that, so... But we car camp, so if you're car camping, you definitely have room for this, trust me. I mean, you know, here's a pop can. So if that gives you an idea, I mean, and this pop is about half empty and it only weighs about as much as this right now. So yeah. so it's light, and like I say, it's, it's pretty versatile, and it is waterproof. I don't know how waterproof it would be, because it's electric stuff there. Like I said, you're not going to want to drop it in water. No. Ah, uh, I mean, there's no, you know, why would you want it in the water anyway? Um, but if it sprinkles or rains a little bit, I think it would be fine. Yeah. You know, because the buttons are are rubber buttons. The switches are inside. Same with this. This is really hard to get out, which is good for your... Keeps it sealed. Yeah, so, uh, you know, if it's sprinkling a little bit, you know, I, 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 I bet it'd be all right. Um... But as with anything, hell, if it's sprinkling, you're really not going to need this. Because if it's raining any at all, your okay. mosquitoes aren't going to be out anyhow. Mm -mm. So let's throw this in your tent and then bring it out when you need it. Mm -hmm. um, or a lot of times that's when the mosquitoes are wanting to get in your tent. If it starts raining outside, yeah. they want to get in out of that rain. Well, while you're out fishing or whatever, keep this thing inside your tent turning on. I mean, that's not that bright. That's not going to, 
you know, this, you know, that's not going to bug anybody. No. You know, mm -hmm. that's not going to, no. <laughs> there's a joke there. It's not going to bug, bug anybody. anybody. So, uh, uh. I don't know what's wrong with her. She's in a bad mood or something. But uh. There we go. So, yeah, what do you think, Monk? I like it. So. So much better than the other one. Yeah. Yeah, that other, the other thing, 30 bucks, stay away from that. Um, but like I said, you know, the mosquitoes, there are different different things you can do. Uh, you can get the citron out of the candles. They work. Yeah. Uh, like I said, nothing's going to get rid of all of them. I mean, no. you're still going to get a bite or two here, especially outside. if they're really bad. But, but the citronella candles, they really work good. They're a little on the pricey side. Sometimes you can get them cheaper, but they do work. Mm -hmm. They do work well. If And you're not going to want to take one of them little tiny ones. And, no. You know. Um, but, sure. and, and again, you want to keep that kind of a ways away from. Yeah. Because, you know, the bugs are going to that stuff. And yeah. if you got that stuff sitting around you, guess what? You're sitting in the bug zone. Mm -hmm. So set it back away from you, 10, 15 feet. Excuse me. Same way with the uh, with the candles. And I think you'd be all right. Yep. What do you think of it, Monk? Uh, I can't wait to go camping and use it. Yeah. And go fishing and use it. Yeah, and see, nice. see how well it works out there and stuff. But I right. think it's going to work great. It worked great here. So, yep. I really, really like it. I'm going to say we'll, I you think know, we'll, we'll do good. We'll do an update on this in mm -hmm. what, two weeks? Yeah, we can do that. We should have some time to be able yeah, to go out so there. Yeah, so in two weeks we'll do what we're doing now together and we'll give you an update on this after two weeks of use. Mm -hmm. And then later on, like I said, this, you know, like I said, I'd let you know how this is doing and, and I am. This thing has been super. That is impressive. It, this thing's amazing for yeah. me. What did I get for this thing? Ten bucks. Yeah, I think so. So I, I mean, and it's not one of them great big packs either. Mm -hmm. And it'll charge my phone in no time. It'll charge her phone. Keeps your know. hands nice and warm. It does. Now mm -hmm. the warmer, you know, does use your battery pretty quick. You put that in his sleeping bag when we went camping when it was cold. I remember you had it in your sleeping bag for a little bit. Yeah, because you got cold. Mhm. Mm it was really cold and rainy out there when we went camping. Mm. So yeah, it works. It works. Awesome. This thing's awesome, mm -hmm. and it's durable. I've dropped this thing, and I beat it around, and it doesn't really have a blemish on it. No, it's really great. It's, yeah. I should have bought me one. So we each had one. Where did I get this? Do you remember? Walmart. Walmart. Mm -hmm. it's Next nasty. time we're at Walmart, we'll see if they got them. It's nasty, nasty. I'd probably yeah. find it online. Yeah. We'll get you one. Yeah. Because I mean, this thing is super. I really like it. Yeah, I do yeah. too. Mm -hmm. uh, it does take a little bottle of charge, you know, once it's clear dead, but I mean, you know, it's, yeah. got, a, it's got a good battery in it, so. Yeah, because I had that little square thing that I was using, and it charges, takes a while, but it goes real quick. What square thing? A little square thing that I got for the cell phone. Oh, yeah. that thing's junk. Well, yeah. what that is, it's not, but she's talking about what in a char it's not a charger, which she didn't know at the time. Mm. Uh, she thought it was a charger, that's why she bought it. Actually, what it is, it's an emergency power bank. You plug it in, it'll give you, what, 30%? Like, immediately, yeah. Yeah. it doesn't charge your phone to 30%. No. no. It just has 30% capacity, enough for you to make a couple phone calls for an emergency. And I that's don't it. even use it now, so. Yeah, because once I, cause she said, this thing doesn't work. It doesn't charge my phone. And I said, is it a charger or is it an emergency? She said, I thought it was a charger, so I looked, and... It's just an emergency thing. So yeah. what it does is... Sorry. I wiggle. So what it does is, like I said, like you plug it in your phone, your phone will say 30%, but you unplug it, your phone will be dead. Yeah. So yeah. this, it's the equivalent of 30% on your phone, and it doesn't last like 30% on your phone. I mean, you get your phone call out, <clears throat> you know, it's just an emergency thing. So. Yeah. And, but she thought it was a charger, so that's why she bought it. She said, well, I didn't ever want to buy it. <laughs> so, but this thing, amazing little gadget here. Yeah. You know, hand warmer. Uh, and you can get some nice ones, you know, if, if you got the extra spare cash, you know, get you a nice big, you know. Mm -hmm. They're bulkier and they're heavier, but they, they last longer and you can charge more things. Um, so, and my controller for my drone will also charge our phones. And right. It'll charge this thing, so... Mm -hmm. That in itself is a battery pack. 
So yeah, I like that. Yeah. I, I really do like that one. Yeah, but I mean the controller on my mm -hmm. for my drone. Oh yeah. It's yeah. a power bank too, yeah. so you can charge it. I've had six things plugged into it and it had no problem hmm. charging uh, anything. It it actually charges my phone. Wow. It doesn't just uh, maintain it. Like if I if I got seventy percent charge on my phone and I go out and fly one battery's worth a drone time. Uh, my phone's at like 97%, so it actually charges it. It don't just maintain it. So. Right. And that's what this does. It charges things, too. It doesn't just maintain them. So. And I got my speaker over there. It is also a battery bank. Yeah. A power bank. Mm -hmm. You can charge stuff with it. So, you know, we're good to go. Just a little stuff like that. You, you know, think outside the box, but I'm, I'm good with this. So, yeah. Yep. Five out of five stars for me. What you think? Yep. Five out of five. Yep, definitely. All right. Well, yeah. guys, I want to thank you for watching. I want to thank you for watching. <laughs> Mike says she's up for now, y'all. <laughs> Shea Bear, the Myth the Man Legend. Two weeks. We'll do an update on this. Yes. And uh, hopefully you enjoy the rest of your weekend. So, yeah. uh, Godspeed, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye, guys. Bye, monkeys people. Mike says she's up for now, y'all. Bye. <laughs> Bye, guys. <laughs>